Hello and welcome to another video that covers some of the new topics that appeared in the Common Body of Knowledge in May of 2021. This video covers some leftover topics that are related to log management and helps us get to the module of change management, all from Domain 7. So with that said, let's jump right in so I don't waste too much of your time. So a few additional log management terms popped up in Domain 7 that you'll need to be aware of. And I apologize for not including these in the last video, but I didn't realize until reviewing my list of new topics that this should have been included. So pattern matching is the process of looking at signature behavior of data movement and activity throughout an organization. North to south refers to the movement of data outside your organization, so basically communication on the internet. East to west refers to data patterns that move inside the organization, so basically over the internal network connections. Not a whole lot of information on this, but just some terms to be aware of. Moving on to threat intelligence or threat hunting. This is the process of how you identify future threats. External threat intelligence can include a lot of activities and sources of knowledge such as open source research, threat modeling, and threat intel from third parties like vendors, governmental entities, or something called information sharing and analysis centers or ISACs. Internal threat intelligence should be about as obvious as external. We're looking at internal sources and internal groups to provide the, the intel using logs, incident reporting, and the results of forensics investigations and so forth. A configuration management database or system inventory can also help identify potential threat areas. It can be a source of intel. For example, if you have a Windows XP or Windows 2008 running in your environment, you might want to provide a report to management. Access or permission reports can also be used to identify people with elevated privileges who can also be a target or a risk for unusual activity. So that can also be a source of intel. The next thing here is patch notices. These might come from announcements from the vendors or third party or general news sources. There should be some kind of a process, a daily process in place where you look for and analyze patch notices. Provided security services simply refers to third-party provided security services. So the provider performs their own investigative efforts to find out what threats and what risks their clients could be facing. So this could include threats in a certain region or an industry or threats related to certain products or threats against specific brands or employees. The term agility refers to the quick learning curve that attackers have. ISC squared says that attackers are much more flexible and are quick to change their methods in order to adapt to increasing security controls. So I don't know if this is actually a testable term. There's only one paragraph on it, but I'll let you decide what to do with this knowledge. Moving on to our final slide here, we have some other terms that you'll need to consider for the exam. Uh, this term runbook is how to complete a task, a specific task, like resetting a user's password or something. A playbook, on the other hand, it would contain multiple runbooks or could contain multiple runbooks and it's geared towards a bigger goal or a bigger scenario. So a playbook could contain multiple runbooks. If you're familiar with ServiceNow, orchestration is a term and it's basically an automation of something and in the context of CISSP, I would imagine this to be automating some of the log management tasks using runbooks and playbooks. And they don't specifically mention this, but I'm just trying to put the pieces together for you. And it's worth mentioning here that ISC squared actually has the definition of runbook and playbook backwards. I realize that in the workplace, a lot of people use these terms interchangeably, but just be aware of this for the exam. It's hard to say exactly how these terms will come up in a question, but it's just, again, something to be aware of. Tuning is the last thing here that you'll need to be aware of. And this refers to the fact that even with machine learning and AI for NIDs and HIDs and IDS, IPS, these things aren't going to be working perfectly right out of the box. So this, this thing called tuning, we need some tuning to occur, which means you'll have to go into the rules and adjust them accordingly, according to how your, however your environment is set up. So an example might be if you have an appliance that keeps alerting on quote unquote lock files and thinks that a ransomware attack is happening. The reality might be that you have a backup process running or some Linux processes running that actually do utilize uh, the dot lock file extension and some rules might need to be adjusted to allow certain activities. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you learned something from it. If so, I encourage you to support the channel and our website by heading over to cissprep.net where we have over 1500 questions to learn and practice from. Best of luck in your studies. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.